Well, a very good evening. Welcome back here to Scotland for the Lean to Succeed Scottish International Open for 2020. Well, we have another absolutely fantastic game for you this evening. It's Greg Harlow, world number 11, taking on the qualifier from last night, John McCutcheson. Players are ready, so we're going to go straight down to the green now and join John in the very first end. And joining me in the commentary box this evening, for your pleasure, not mine, Nick Brett. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us, Nick. No problem. Good day so far. I think so. I think there's some, uh, some fantastic games. This one's going to be interesting. You know, Greg, well, we all know Greg, been around a long, long time. World number 11. He's in uh, John McCutcheson from Scotland. He uh, came through the last chance qualifier, which is uh, something we held just only yesterday. So John has actually had, you know, a couple of good match games on this rink. So he'll know exactly what this rink will do I think to be fair this evening it's probably going to play a little bit quicker than what it played in the qualifier just to the heat and the sheer amount of people that are in here I think it's a second a second and a half faster than what it was yesterday but we'll see yeah for sure a little bit warmer which probably might speed it up a bit but I was here watching when he played the final qualifier and uh, he played very well he certainly did you know, he had to play very well to beat Paul Hartley don't forget, we do have three other games going on on the outside rinks. Nick and I will keep you up to date what's going on, but just so you know who's playing who. Rink number two, Robert Paxton is playing Warren Stain. He came through from the Cape Town South African qualifier. Rink number three, David Gourlay, MBE. He's facing the Abbey View qualifier, Stuart Pagan. Well, he's been around this game a long, long time, so that's not going to be an easy one for David. And out on the very end rink is uh, Darren Bennett, is facing the very talented Australian Blake Nairn. So some good evening games. Yeah, and in this game, decent start from, from Greg. He'll be looking just to tighten this up, which he has done. Yep. I mean, that's the start you want, isn't it? Get off to a really, really good start. The players have had the option of playing on this rink for 30 minutes before for practice entirely up to them how long they want to stay on for yeah both both had the full 30 minutes i think so yeah i think so almost yep well, john will go a little quicker this time Denise, that's a great start for Greg. <coughs> Don't forget we uh, redraw for the next round. It's uh, slightly different to what you normally see. The first rounds are played at the end of the sessions. Each of the winners comes and chooses a ball. To be fair, looking at your ball, Nick, you drew ball 13. Jason Banks, 14. That's a difficult game, isn't it? They're all difficult. They're all difficult. Certainly, second round, you, you're going to play someone that's, you know, had to win a game on the carpet, and uh, he looks like he played really well. So yeah, I've got my, have my work cut out there for sure. I'm not sure Greg made the last one. Oh, a quick look. Just see a good picture Six. there of the, the venue here at West Lothian. Get score three, zero. There's a big stand to the left hand side of the camera that you're looking through now into the bar area. There's uh, 200 seats ish in that stand, plus the bar area itself. It's quite a friendly crowd, I'd say. I mean, there's always that Scotland England rivalry, isn't there? Yeah, but they, you know, when there's a good bowl played, the applause is still there. So, Jacqueline, 26 metres. Someone asking there why they're playing both in red bowls. Well, for the satellite events or so anything other than the World Indoor Bowls Championships at Potter's Resorts, we allow the players to play with their own bowls. And um, 
we just put the different colour stickers on to differentiate whose balls are who. I mean, the white stickers should hopefully um, stick out a little bit more than the, the green. As a player, is that a good thing, Nick? Of being allowed to play with your own balls or the balls of your choice? I think it certainly makes a difference with what you've got in your hand, but you know, visually, I guess, if both are playing with red or both are playing with green, it's probably not probably not ideal from a viewing point of view. But yes, play, from a player's point, playing with your own bowls does make a difference. Question there about the shot clock. No, we don't play with a shot clock in this event. Um, just purely because at Potter's where we have the, uh, the single rink in operation, it's a lot easier. Here we have four rinks. I mean, we don't want buzzers and things going on all over the shot. <laughs> It'd be a lot harder to <laughs> police, wouldn't it, on four rinks? Yes. You need more, more officials and... Yeah, more equipment. Yeah. The shot clock is actually a lot of money, funny enough. Is it needed these days? I mean, the shot clock was originally brought into play to stop pl certain players at that particular time who were notorious for being slow, whether it was deliberate or not. I don't think players today as a whole, probably 85% are that slow. Does it bring anything to the game? I don't know. It's a personal opinion, I think. I think for broadcast, we need to be able to somehow time how long the game's going to take. Yeah, difficult difficult to answer that one. I think I've only, from memory, you know, clock's only gone off once last year. Yep. So, but is that because the game, the clock, is that speeding people up? If you took it away, would people slow and the games then run over? Over, yeah. And for TV, I, you know, I guess they're looking for a certain amount of yeah. game time and not to go over it or short of it. Correct. So, Greg, just looking just to play that full draw down the forehand, I think. Yeah, he'll just try and give it a chance. If he gets a good, good angle on the shot bowl or even the jack. Get to the outside edge of it. No. Nope. John will just be, just giving this not really heavy, but it just look just to draw right to it. Any touch can make a three. Yeah, if it gets to the bowl, makes a three. Gets like you say, gets to the jack full will probably just be enough to nudge it across for three. Certainly looks to be close. Oh, well played. Oh, unlucky. Very unlucky. Yeah, one in, one out, it looks like from the cameras. Almost, yeah. That was dreadfully unlucky. Yeah, Set still just the one. Three, one. Half an inch for making the three. Jack length 24 and a half. Having played the qualifying day here, John will probably have preferred length position of where he wants to put it. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. You know, he played. Um, Four games yesterday, 
so we would know what, what's what. He's kind of taken the mat up with no further than you would normally. Normally, yeah. Hasn't shaken Greg, that's for sure yet. Certainly not. <laughs> Almost two feet short of Jack Hack. Do you want to just give this one a chance? Mm. Just, just under the front. He's definitely looking for that searching line. Will it hold up? That's the question. Looks like he's just going to go. He might nibble the bowl, but probably preferred to have missed it. Maybe. Yes, yeah, not quite sitting how you want now. Easy shot now. He's probably got three seconds. I think it'd go quick. No, f flick it away. Yeah, you, th there is that. You'd probably give Greg enough room to draw the shot. But uh, there's, there's a bowl kind of awkward in both draws. Yeah, I mean, 3 2, play the forehand with a bit of pace and just say, well, you know, fling it out. Greg, you go ahead. Looks like he's playing it. Yeah. Needs to bend. Needs to bend. Oh, <laughs> close. Greg will probably consider this for a free one, really. Yep. Just needs to negotiate that front ball with decent pace, doesn't he? Yeah, miss his own. Let me get back in time. Just a bit over the pace. Set score four one. I think he'll be reasonably happy with a four one four one lead after three ends. As will some of the others on the other rinks. Rob Paxton's got away to six nil after two. Jack Glenn, 25 metres. 5 nil after three. And Blake is 3-1 up on Darren Bennett after three.
two not bad starts, but both yep. looking to just get a little tighter ring. Yeah, I mean, it's one of them things, isn't it? it just, I find, I find it a little too paced. I think it's slightly different pace going towards the bar. I think it's slightly heavy, whether that's to do with the fire door, I don't know. <coughs> yeah, really good correction. Don't get much better than that. Let's just see there, Greg, playing with the Tiger 2. What, which of the 17 sets are you playing with, Nick? Same, Tiger 2s. Tiger 2s, yeah. yeah. He's got the new grip with his. The mega grip, is That's it? That's the one, yeah. Other grips are available. Absolutely. Good effort. Both these yeah. look like they've got a mega grip. Captain John's last ball, five inches. And the gap sit that bowl down but it's just slightly short to get into and it's a bit of a nuisance value yeah nice. whether you're going to take a chance and go quicker for it through the port yeah the the the, the wider draw is per, you know is there if you're perfect yeah it's a big swing in hand at the end this forehand how's the pace how is the pace the just up but yeah. handy be fair, three, three seconds, if it, if it doesn't change, you'd probably be looking to give yourself a chance next time. Greg, do, draw down to that last ball, maybe? I think so, yeah. <laughs> or he could even go back to the backhand and b beat, beat, the last, beat the short one. Yeah, I just didn't know whether maybe if he just dropped it slightly short, slightly wide, whether it just thicken that target for the... Underneath shot. Yeah, swinging around about. You're right, of course, all the time. I wish. <laughs> Bound about and swings. Well, this is a chance for John. Yeah, still at least two seconds. You can see the ball. You can see the almost the angle there. Uh, you can play the forehand pretty quick. It, you, even if you use Greg's ball. Yeah. You know, you, you can punch that onto the same connection you want. Yeah, he's looking for that edge of his own bowl plant. It's not far away, you know. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant bowl. A little bit unlucky. Great, great shot. Yeah, played it very well. Did. Played, played it very good well. Good pace. Yeah, very good pace. Now there'll just be one, you know. He's asking for a measure. Better than one down. It certainly is. Just looking at some of the rounds tomorrow, we're not quite sure just yet is who's going to be featuring tables? on the streaming drinks. Mm. At the moment, we definitely have Mark Dawes facing Wayne Wilgress at 10 o'clock. Um, and then in the evening, well, the afternoon, sorry, 1 o'clock for the second round game, we've got Nicky taking on Jason Banks. We also have Stuart Anderson taking on Mary King. Oh, yeah. A few more balls to pick out. Two of these players will play in the morning, two will play in the afternoon, that's for certain. Yeah, not all the uh, fixtures fitted in yet. Not just yet, no. Uh, Kieran, yes, you can watch this on BBC iPlayer as well. Either Facebook, YouTube, BBC iPlayer. And also 
information is also going on the BBC Sports app as well. So welcome wherever you are in the world, joining us on whatever platform you choose. Look at the scoreboard operator there, look, 13-year-old so Rory Mann. Two. Great player as well, he played in the under-25 qualifier on Sunday. Did well, played very well. Again, comes from good pedigree. Jack length, 23 and a half metres. Yeah, just about winning the battle of the first two bowls at the yeah. moment. No, no, that's fair to say, yep. Decent correction for John. Didn't get the shot, but not too far away. Can he get a connection? Bowl or Jack? I think he's getting the hole. Oof. Lucky. Yeah, he'd be disappointed with that. Yes, Even though it's, it's finished very well, it's not quite got the shot, has it? And a one, one for Greg, Greg to get to. I think so. Second prize. Yeah, does it does it force John to change hands? You want to let that bowl force you tight because you get nothing. got the bowl, weight to go with it or not not far off you know oh, oh, great ball great ball only just enough pace but uh, perfect does three down make greg play the runner or just still just draw in because he's played the draw pretty good to be honest hmm. I think a shot like this, like you say, Nick, down to the plate, is it the frame of mind at the moment? Is it how confident you are in the draw, would you say? Yeah, definitely. If you, if you, if you think you're picking it well, you, it's definitely the draw. But if, you, if you're not, you just pick a pace and don't, don't miss tight or wide, just hit the pack and see, yep. get rid of some or what have you. But uh, on the whole, I think he's drawn quite well. But uh, anything's possible. the top I think yeah touch wider than he has been played all the others big big chance no? 
Big, big chance straight back in it. We just one ahead now. Set score, 4-5. Three there, sneak, sneak your nose in front. Just over halfway through the first set. Jack Glenn, 24 and a half metres. Because people are just joining us, coming in from work or whatever. About the same colour balls. It's um, it's, the, it's different colour stickers that we use for the um, the satellite events. We don't uh, we don't because it's just a three day event. We don't force the players to uh, pick and choose between two colours. Uh, we just allow them to play with their own balls. I mean, they can choose any set of balls they want. But uh, you can see they're both almost the same colour red. But uh, one has a white colour sticker, obviously, and one has a um, a green world championships that's slightly different we have a, a green set of balls and a red set of balls but we have to carry around okay. at one point I had 82 sets of balls I think knocking around the and you said I got a lot <laughs> I think when Bowls England borrowed the balls for the Commonwealth Games I think at one point I had 30 sets of balls in my spare room <laughs> My other half was absolutely delighted. <laughs> Not. <laughs> we'll get some scores for you from the other rinks. Yeah, two great second balls from both players there. Three and a half inch gap, Robert Paxton. Well, he's off to an absolute great start there. He's just played six ends. He's just changing the score there, 15-1 against Warren Stain. So that's the first set finished. Yeah, that'll be the first set finished there. Yep, that's the first set done. So oh, perfect. Perfect. Goodness. Great fire. Ball. Yeah. The tip for tap, these two now. Whatever you can do, I can do better. You see there from the, the replay, any contact lifting the bowl onto the jack, or he got it absolutely perfect. Jack solid. David Gall, AMBE, he's facing Stuart Pagan from Abbey View. David's 10 1 ahead after six ends. Darren Burnett, he's playing uh, Blake Nairn from Australia. He's 4 3 to Darren after five ends. Yeah, four and runner. Yep. Slightly underneath. Snuck one away, but I don't think that one was in the count anyway. Finishing, just needs to finish wide of these. Is that just going to grab the spot? I'm not sure. Greg will have a look at that. You can't cut. You can't cover everything, can you? Not with one ball. <laughs> Technically, got both spots, I think, and the best back. But depends on what happens when 
the dust settles on what angle Greg hits what bowl. The dust settles. Okay. Yeah, not that I'm saying there's any dust about, but. <laughs> That's just when you open your wallet. Moss, they are. Moss, Come on. Yeah. And the king puts it to the sunglasses on. I think he's going to go again. I, I think he will. There's enough about. He'd be unlucky to drop any more than a two if it goes. Even if it went badly. And yep. Going again. Want something? Oh, nearly. Very nearly. Good effort. That's a good head of bowls. Just seeing playing the forehand runner there. Kind of any four, connection, six. really. One, two. I think he just got it on the wrong order. I mean, cuts the count down. Yeah, top end of bowls, really. Some good bowls placement mm. by both. Definitely. Jack length, 23 and a half metres. Pace, just a bowl under what you want. Chance for Greg here. Still a little, little bit open here. One down at the moment, but uh, yeah, plenty of room. I don't think we've seen the winner of this end yet. No. It's demonstrated. Yeah, enough. A couple of options can still just draw down that backhand, or can play forehand just a reaching bowl card to get down to Greg's last jack, his own bowl if you wanted to. Yeah, he might just be reaching up the forehand here. Turn his own in or get under for that. Has to bend a fraction. Come in now. Yeah, not a great result, to no. be fair. Just a bowl high. Probably ended up being two down now. Distraction there. <laughs> yeah, Greg just reset himself, picked a different bowl. Three down here. Um, again, pick your pick your mm. shot. A, there's a free draw up your hand. You have been leading off, so it is there. There was one to rest, or you know, you're two up. Do you try and rumble into it and see if you can get rid of some? Take what you get. But uh, I think, yeah, like I say, I think the only danger with playing that reaching shot is you're not guaranteed anything, are you? You're just looking at trying to move up a few balls, aren't you? Yeah. There's no guaranteed result. Can you get right up? Shot bowl if you can. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Played it real well. Played it real well. 
Greg, can, it still can go clean, yeah. but, you, but you, at least you force Greg to play something. If you miss, almost guaranteed drop a four, but... Yeah, it's a big difference, this seven, four, eight, six, you know. Uh, up, yeah, on. massive, massive. A big bowl in the context of the first set, that's for sure. Seen a few of these four-hand runners in my time. I bet you have. He'll be close. Even if he's getting the front, it's going to get him something. Yep. Percentage. Yeah. Played it well. Didn't miss wide. Front bowls were always, always going to help him a little bit. Six ball. Yeah, I mean, the plan A was obviously the ball clean for four. But, uh, I mean... Like we say many, many times in the commentary box, when you're playing that kind of reach shot, you've always got to look for the best percentage, haven't you? What gives you the best chance? Yeah, ball's coming in on the tight side, no point missing wide. It's a fabulous game of balls. John McCutcheon is he's always such a competitive player, such a good, consistent player. I always knew this was going to be a very interesting evening game. Jack went 30. Yeah, like meters. I said, played well in the qualifiers. Yes, yeah, and, and played well so far. You don't come two days unless you have some calibre. Seven, eight games in a day. Takes some doing. Especially when you get to your age, mate. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Still a little room here. Yeah, decent correction from Greg there. Yeah, good pace. Just allowed him just to get that little bit of a swing at the end if you're just slightly over it tendencies to stick yeah it can be Tracking well again. Yeah, it'll just dip right at the end now. Is that form a target that you would go, or are you just happy on the draw here, same weight as your last go, bowl wider, do you think? I think with my third, I'd just stick with it, I think, at the moment, just try and get down to that, that uh, ledge, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Because if you go too early this end, I think you're going to leave Greg a very easy next shot. Just draw up to it. Is he just still a bowl under, or is he good? Gets the jack. Well played. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, I think we might see Greg go back to the forehand. You can just see John here. Well, two options, like you say, Nick could have played for the two bowls if he wanted to. I, I think Greg will play the runner. Depends on which hands he can see. Inside edge of the furthest one away. Yeah. Gets him back gets him back to the jack. So Pretty quick inside edge of the mat. Oh, he's going forehand. Oh. Yep, inside edge of the mat. Wide. 
No, I think he's pretty good. No, no, he is wide. You were right. Big last bowl, this, isn't it? Mm. Mate, you know, difference between two and three are Huge. the obvious, but yeah. Some more scores after this end for the other ones. <coughs> well, just the two, so it'll be two up playing the last. Let off that. Eight. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to be too wide. What are going with the other scores? Let me get me. Can you see them? Yeah, well, yeah. Rob Paxton he, he won the first set five, five nil up after two in the second. David Gourlay won the first set Jack playing the and a half first end of the second set. Um, Darren playing Blake. Darren is 7-4 up, just starting the last end. Fantastic start when you... Defending a two. Greg will just, just look to be up to this. Obviously perfect if you're trying to draw the shot, but yeah, I'd like you'd probably be just giving it a chance on the title track. Yeah, gotta be up. Another good bowl. Yeah, whether, certainly is. whether Greg could go quicker here. You know, his own bowl onto the two greens. It's been yep. clean for the jack. Solid jack would be very good, yeah. Trusty four-round runner. Not as quick as I expected him to go. No, timing it, letting it bend. Keeping it on though, is he? Oh, never worried. <coughs> yeah, plenty of room. <laughs> Left John in a, con a quandary, should I say. Because if you go to cover that, and finish down the centre. Greg's still got a chance to get the jack and the bowl off if he puts it down the centre. Yeah. So, but I guess you must be passed as close as that, close to that last bowl as possible. Or pick a side of it and hope he doesn't get the jack solid. There's the one right down the centre, which probably going to go with Greg's going to go quicker now to get the jack and follow for that last bowl. It's going to say, yeah, do you play quick, ram the jack into the ditch, pass that bowl, and then play the bowl off itself. Kind of the only choice you've got, isn't it, really? 
Play the backhand, yeah. Well, it's hit the target. It's how it goes from here. Split. Ooh. Well. <laughs> Put it right near that bowl. And whatever John does with this bowl now, Greg's going to have a shot for it. And this he hides it right on the front of the, the, the nearest bowl. Just got to get second leg. Just guarantee second leg. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you, but you've got to get close enough to, I guess, force Greg into thinking. This doesn't look very quick. Where's that other ball of Greg's? It's slightly like second. Has he got him for second? Yeah, I think it has just, but it's got a long way. Long way to make second, mm. isn't he? Yeah. For those that are interested, Darren Bennett has just won the first set. Run. Just to run. Just enough. Yeah, guarantees a tie. Jack is to the right of that bowl, so that will be two to Greg, and that will be a set tie, eight shots apiece. First set is tied at eight all. So the one he missed last time to get the three <coughs> did make a difference. Certainly did, yep. That's the end of the first set. Second set we go. Last game for you for today. We're back with you tomorrow, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock will be the second rounds. 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock will be the quarter finals tomorrow. And that's how the format is going. Jacqueline, 24 and a half metres. Great start. Blake Nairn's just <laughs> had a drive on rink seven there. He's took out three bowls, the rink marker, I think the local shopping centre. <laughs> Yeah, he just lent into one. <laughs> he told me he was uh, slightly easing off the pace because he's got a dodgy knee at the moment. <laughs> no, he didn't with that one. <laughs> no, he didn't. So how many balls we got left? Hopefully four. Yes. We have got four balls left. For the draw makes it very interesting.
Can he just get up past his own? Not far away. Oh, uh, he's got up for second without the touch. He was probably enough for shot. But, uh, four great bowls so far. Question, do we know what uh, game is being live streamed tomorrow? Not yet, no. Um, once the draw is completed this evening, the four winners of this game, uh, this round, will draw a ball. That will complete the second rounds for tomorrow. And then the tournament director, Tom Weir, will decide um, who's going on what rink. Show rink, uh, the way we do the show rink is we try as much as possible to show as many different people as possible as well. There's no point in showing the same person on the same rink all the time. Um, so yeah, so that'll be published though. As soon as we know what the outcome is, we'll publish that on the World Ball Store, um, Facebook and YouTube, and the website. Either way, it's gonna be really, really good. Good second rounds for you. Right on. Needs to, needs to miss that or ram it. Oh, he's unlucky. Played a good ball. Just got it onto the jack. Your favourite saying here, six bowls on a dustbin lid. <laughs> I'm from the north. Is how big your dustbins are. Mine need to be very big. Big family. Just up to this. Yeah, just too far, isn't he? Mm. Very similar, I think, from John, but much harder now because you'd have to be absolutely perfect just to get top edge of yours or even get to Greg's and try and flick him out up the forehand. Because would he draw, the f draw down the backhand? But there is a draw down the backhand. You want to squeeze the jack and then not come with it. Dip, here it comes, here it comes. There's squeezing oh the jack and not coming with it. Goodness. Dreadfully unlucky. Just playing that just overweight. I mean, if he just dipped down to that white disc ball without the jack, that would have been a good two. Jack, solid. May have been a one. Just got a, a bit one of both, Nick, didn't he, really? After yeah. The first very unlucky, to be yeah. fair. Very, very unlucky. unlucky. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Perfect, that one. Great start. It's very rare we get two tied sets, Nick, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly doesn't happen very often. But uh, it looks like there's not going to be much quarter given in this game. So, again, obviously we've had one. So, it's a distinct possibility there might be another. There's no quarter given between these two at the moment. No, nope, both playing exceptional. 
Inch and a half to your goal. You said Blake was taking it easy. That's two in three ends where he's... <laughs> Just laughing there. I mean, there's not much left to Livingston at the moment. <laughs> oh, well. Look at that. Yeah, he's, he's played two pearlers to start of this. Mm. I think Greg might be uh, at this one. Trusty four-hand runners coming out of the bag again. Yeah. Getting that inside edge to try and get that nice straight line up. Just played wide. Now, how's the angle? Oh. <laughs> it did look usable. It was uh, halfway <laughs> up, didn't it? Reusable. <laughs> yeah. Very near. What do you do here? Do you go to the go to the spots? I mean, uh, and then force Greg to try and draw up the backhand. You don't want to make this wider, would you? That's the problem. I mean, I mean if you're going to draw, how do you make a three without making it wider? That's the problem. Yeah, good choice, I think. Either that or he was very heavy. Well, set it on a decent track. Will he get down in time? Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just sat away. down to add oh, great in the bowls perfect let's score one three Jack length, 24 and a half metres. Well, we're looking to follow that good three up with a good start in this end. inches resetting it's, I mean, it's very warm in here today isn't it really warm <laughs> it is i guess it could 
could nearly be uncomfortable for some. Gregor just looking to be, sneak the shot here. A little bit of adjustment on his first. Which he's done. John get all the way up with this one. Good track. He's reaching. Run. Stays up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just doesn't look doesn't look quite enough, but uh, he was having a good look. Greg will be looking to repeat the same pace as last time. Well, is he up? Well, anything on his last, he might even be a little bit more adventurous and probably play a yard or so more. The plant's really good. Right onto the jack for three. Can't see much danger, really. Just outside the line, right idea. Down that hand with a bit of pace over the last few days, just uh, stick. Yeah, probably caught in two minds whether he should just draw or be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, it's that in between, isn't it? Well, just looking to add touch on the j on the jack, maybe a bit of a bonus. If he sits back, get back to the back side of it, sit back. No, I'd say that's pretty good. Is that definitely two, is it? Well, they were looking, having a close look at the other one, but I would say the last bowl is definitely shot. I wonder if we could just get like that kind of back touch, you know, and fall back against it. We'll soon see. While they're deciding, just should we run through the run through the other uh, scores? You better had, you can see them. Okay, Rob Paxson <laughs> is eight two up in the second at six ends after winning the first set. David Gourle is three one up after four after winning the first set. Darren Burnett is one four down after three in the second set, but he won the first set. John's just popped for Well we hope it's a quick one. <laughs> now we go live to the news. <laughs> Thank you, John. Well, there we go. One of our sponsors for this event, Drake's Pride. Great company, and uh, based not too far from me, only a 20 minute drive in Liverpool. Been around a long, long, long time. A couple of sides to their business. They've got Drake's Pride, which is the bowl side. Sorry, set score. And they've got three, uh, Thurston's and Paradon, which are like the snooker side of things as well. They do snooker tables and cues. It was an interesting conversation. They get a lot of business from China, funny enough, for snooker cues. Probably massive sport out there. Yeah, but it is, yeah. 
I mean, especially during COVID, getting the correct type of wood apparently was uh, it was a two-year waiting list at one point during COVID for you know a bespoke queue. Jack Glenn's twenty-six and a half meters. I don't know anything about snooker. <laughs> I just I spend a lot of time with Drake's bad, so I get to listen, but I have no idea on snooker. Stick to bowls. Don't even do that anymore. Tiddlywinks, maybe. Something not quite right with the first two, so both got a chance with the, with the next two. Kind of night, Nick, where when I mean, you're playing bowls, you're either playing nationals or whatever at night, at some point that speed starts to change, whether it's atmospheric pressure or just the natural temperature outside. Yeah, it just, it changes, just starts it? to slow down at some point after you've spent 45 minutes mm. grabbing the pace, just starts to change a little bit. But this end's still waiting for someone to grab it. Certainly is. Yeah, well done. One doesn't look doesn't look right. He's probably going to be facing himself three down playing his last here. Yeah, certainly won't want to drop another three. End. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Neither neither really grabbed it by the by the horns, really. I mean, you either draw down the backhand or you take that chance and play green bowl onto white bowl. Lots of room between them, is it? It's not guaranteed to hit it, and if you don't get it quite right, you still drop a two. But again, if you're not catching the draw, change something different. But uh, I think the more the better shot is just try and draw in. Needs to negotiate the front. It's not bad here. Just needs, needs to, to run. run. <laughs> needs to run. Now, can he just topple Greg's over? Not quite, but a better effort. It's, it's, at worst, he's got second. Mm, you can just see there, just looking to play that reaching draw down to the bowl or the jack. Got the bowl. Ideally. We would have wanted Greg's to fall again, fall away with the bias, but yeah. might see the measures here. Nope, he's giving it. No. Greg, one up, five to play. Set score four three.
Jack went 29 and a half meters. Just forced John on onto the backhand. He, hmm. he, I think I say his preferred side, but he's he's led off this side when he's had the opportunity off the forehand. Worked out a good change. It certainly has. Tuck it. Uh, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't. He might. He could go cute up the backhand just to just to reach, but I think he'll certainly be up. Joe Dawson's on. He'd hit this with about 300 mile an hour weight. Yeah, just controlled for Joe. Just controlled for Joe. Yeah, straight through the advertising boards. Well, it's not getting topside. That's for sure. Here's a thin edge. Ooh. Where's that ball going? It's staying on. Yeah, Greg's down, but certainly as rink possession goes, he's probably, other than being down, he's got the better. Well, he's just trying to tidy up in a little bit. I mean, there's two options. You either cover the back or you try and tidy up because it's a big, big thing. He's unfortunately failed to do either. You can see him shaking the head. He knows that's... Yeah, that wasn't position A for sure. No, no. I think he was, you know, at worst, he probably needed a, a foot or so of pace into his own two just to, you know, make, sit it down or get it past yeah. or... I think the options were you either fling one down the back and say to Greg, go ahead and hit it, or like I say, you play just slightly up and just try and change something. That ball fell falling over. Greg, shuffles, ball forward. Greg may well come all the way back to have a look. If, but. Yep. And for the or the jack. Jack would be very good if he hits it nice and solid. Doesn't look overly wide at the moment. Oh. Just right. the one. One down. Two thirds. Is there a is there something up the back end under your own? Onto the bowl. Or even if you, even if you went forehand, got the bowl out, or got the jack, and the jack went out of rink, you'd probably be two on the spot. Yeah. It's a, it's a big shot if you're risking off. I mean, fortune favours the brave. Did they well, say? Yeah, you don't. You don't always get loads of opportunities. But if you're going to play it, you've got to play it. You've got to play it not half, half heartedly. Oh, yeah, teeth, yeah, it? I know. Yeah, to, to pick them up. Let you drop your tic tacs. Oh, he's playing it. 
Picking that gamble, like you say, when it's there, sometimes you just doesn't look like he's paid enough pace for it though. Chance. He's literally only just past the length. Maybe really, not so. fully committed. Maybe. Yeah. Still four all. Mm. Nothing. Nothing lost. Let's score four four after five. All square, four ends to go. What are the other scores doing out there, Nick? I can't see. Robert Paxson has won 2-0. 9-4 okay. in the uh, second set. David Gourlay is 6-3 up after seven ends in the second set after winning the first. And Darren Bennett is 6-4 up after six after winning the first set. That needs a measure. I think that might need a measure. That length, 24 metres. Twenty-four metres, just slightly over the minimum allowed. ends where we've not seen the winner of the end yet yeah most of them coming in this direction hmm strange isn't it? needs to beat the front and fall away yeah you're right I've not seen the winner of the end played yet I don't think no I don't think so both of these will beat what's there at the moment. Greg's got two goes at it though, which could be the key. Looks a good line with this one. Yeah, doesn't need to. It's straight in. know whether that's got up enough. Maybe we'll get some indication at the moment. Greg's had a quick look, which normally tells me that he thinks he holds. He'd have had a longer look. Yeah, and the green ball obviously fell away as well, didn't it? Yeah. Well, looks a good track. It's all on the pace now. Wants to steady up. Yeah, well played. Doesn't want to fall against the jack. Stayed up. Two great balls to finish. So it scores six four. Question in from George Weber. How many tie breaks has there been today? 
Uh, well, we've had uh, that game's finished. We've had 13 games so far. Five have gone to tiebreak. It's a good job Blake's taking it easy. That's just another one he's... He's lost a ball there underneath the steps. Has he gone right under the steps? It has. <laughs> Where's the mat? Yeah, it's not all the way back. No, it's not all the way back. Yeah, same here. Okay. Yeah, about a metre either side, so it'll be uh, measured. 23 metres is the minimum jack uh, needed. Well, for jack cast, should I say. We can play to a shorter length jack if uh, if the jack is rebounded. So let's say we play this end and someone drives and bounces the jack and it hits the bowl and brings up the green. Minimum length you can play to then, Nick. Go on, Nick, go on. Oh, come on. We've had Don't this hundred times and I never remember. Go on. Go on, a rebounded jack, minimum length for a rebounding jack. Oh. <laughs> well, I can ask you one on the Spanish Armada if you prefer. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm going to go with 14, am I right? Or right? Yeah, 20. Just. Oh, right. 14 is a blocker. You play a blocker. Uh, a blocker must be 14. That's one of my draws. <laughs> <laughs> I use you as a question before for a free bowls cloth. So Nick Brett is famously known for falling down a golf hole, but what number hole is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Are you <laughs> I can tell you, it's the 15th. <laughs> 15th. <laughs> There's so many rules, isn't there? We think about it, the umpires. So many rules that you read that... It's only when they really come up where you think, I don't actually know that one. <laughs> yeah, luckily I rely on the umpires. Jack length, yeah. 23 metres. <coughs> so a little update on the other two games. David Gourlay now 6-4 up, playing the last. And Darren Burnett 6-5 up, with two to play. Mm. Interesting games. Not far away again. Yeah, John will be just looking to Beat, beat the white bowls either way, just past them. It's not sitting great for him at the moment, even though he holds. I'm feeling Greg might be tempted to run at this. I think he's just picking mm. what he's going to run, what his ideal contact would be. I mean, uh, in the split on the front two, I would say. He normally prefers the forehand, don't you? I think I think that split is better on the backhand, no? I, I think you're right. Always replaced the forehand. He was always playing just slightly tippy tappy. Nice. If 
finishing a good place though. I think he'll go a lot firmer now, try and force one of these balls straight through onto the jack would be pretty decent. If he can get to his own, that would be even better. Yeah, get his own ball onto the jack, he'd probably be a long way from it, but he would be holding. Certainly having a look at all the angles, that's for sure. Even inside edge of the widest one, whether that be if he's tight up the backhand or wide on the forehand, that gets him back into the jack. <coughs> Just another result there, David Gourlay won the second set, so he's through 2-0. I thought that backhand was the better option for the pace. Let's see what he hits. It's all about hitting the target, but also getting the perfect angle. Oh, he's hit the target. What's the result? On two. Yeah, well done. Yeah, made the shot. John's got a similar shot up the mm. forehand, I would say, now. Yeah, has. Big shot as well. Yeah, yeah. Because if you lose the end, you've well, you it would be what three down, two to play. Yeah, not impossible numbers, well, but you can just see there, can't you? If he gets down, he can work off his own balls in a way. But I mean, if he gets underneath, solid on Greg's ball without any jack movement, that would be bingo. Can he hold enough? I don't think he is. I think he's played good pace at that though. One, two, three. Seven, four. After seven ends. Thanks. Yep. Blake's hit another one and bowls is three and a half <laughs> rings away. <laughs> he actually ran after it and went and got his bowl. He was that fast. <laughs> Jack Lynn, 25 and a half. That's the way I think he's in the Cricket World Cup, I think. Yeah, on the way he's taken out Bill, Nancy, Edith and Ethel. <laughs> Well, Greg will be looking to score a two, get over the line. Mm. And I would imagine John will be also looking to score a two, get the deficit back. Yeah. So very important first bowls here. Greg's not taken his so far. Can John make the most of that? Because there's not been fabulous ends going this way in the last two or three. adjustment I'd say that's uh, pretty good forcing John to find the perfect bowl now
closes the gap. I think you just need to try and draw again to try and maybe thicken something up a little bit or obviously draw the shot. Yeah, I would say he needs to draw a shot. Getting the four last end, not the easiest thing to do. Greg beats the front either of the greens. It's going to be really difficult mm. for John yep. to manufacture the shot here, unless you're going to be perfect, but... He's gone for the cover, has he? I think so. The way he played it, then just went and grabbed his little tissue thing. Cloth, sorry. Just wondering, do you try and draw or do you try and manipulate that shorter green ball onto the it shot? Depends ball? on how many seconds you've got. Does Greg's beat any of the green ones? Because there is an angle yeah. off, the, off one of these bowls to get back to the shot ball. Mm. It's just whether. It's no. all or nothing, maybe. It, yeah. Just wondering that. Just, hmm. The angles are there. It's just whether, you know, they've had three draws at the forehand, all been a bowler so tight, maybe more. Yep. And I guess if it's your day, you, you can get the big inside edge or outside edge of the, that middle bowl. Yeah. I mean, that, that would be a result, wouldn't it? I mean, you could draw. I mean, if it's only one down, you could draw an absolute cork and get second. It's not really worth anything, is it? Sometimes you think, well, do or die. Yeah, I think you need the shot, really. Y you know, you're trying to get a four here. I mean, on the other rink over there, you, Darren's now seven five up playing the last. So, so Blake, Blake needs a three. Darren's got two with inside a foot and just covered the spot. So, pretty difficult now. He's trying that little shot, Matt. So it's underneath it, though, what I think he's going to get. He's probably just knocked that in for three and... The game. That is it, I think. I think so, but I think he had to try that shot. I think it was the right shot, just didn't get the right result. But, yep, it's three for Greg Harlow, who's going to take set second set. Ten, four after ten eight, and eight, four. second set and the match to Greg Harlow. So, Greg Harlow takes out John McCutcheon, he will go through to the second round tomorrow. Um, Blake Nairn is just playing his last end. That, uh, the results will go on to our World Bowls Tour um, Facebook very, very shortly. So we'll get that on. I mean, Blake is needing a three here on this final end, which is very, very, very difficult looking at the way he's lying. Nick, thanks for joining me. No problem at all. Good luck for the rest of the uh, competition. Thanks very much. So everybody, that is uh, afraid we have uh, all we have time for from Scotland. Don't forget, we're back with you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We will be posting later on what games uh, will be featured on the stream. Uh, and that will be posted onto our Facebook BBC Sports app and also our Facebook channel as well. So until tomorrow from beautiful Scotland, good night. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.